Hello everyone, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So today I'll be talking about something very interesting for all of you. So if you're thinking what are the jobs that are very, very good in the next coming years, then I'll be talking in this video, the top 10 life sign jobs, which will be a great demand in the next 10 years. So I'll be listing out some of the top 10 life sign jobs for you. So just check it out and then look on to this so that we'll consider like whether this jobs will be retaining uh, till the next year period of time. So come along with me and let's discuss the complete topic in detail. So the first life sign jobs that you can offer is becoming a medical and a clinical laboratory technologist and a technician. This you might have observed even in India also. If you go to a hospital, you will see a lot of technicians, whether it comes to a medical and clinical laboratory technicians, you will always find them. They always been in a great demand there is no problem of like they are not having any kind of job there is a job opportunity but what we can say is the average salary range can actually varies in different countries but this is also going to be a wonderful um, life sign job that will be a greater demand in the next decade so what does this uh, people are going to do or who is this medical and clinical laboratory technologist? As we already know, they are the one who works in the hospital and they collect the sample and analyze what sort of microorganisms and they perform tests, everything. So they are the one who does this uh, things over there. And the next important thing is, uh, is it going to be a demanding one in the next 10 years? I would definitely say yes, because there is going to be 11 percentage growth rate is going to take place when it comes to medical laboratory technologist. So, of course, we can say I'm talking about the global scenario. Wherever you go, technicians are always been preferred and it's considered uh, the top one life sign jobs that is going to be a greater demand in the next 10 years. And it's also believed that by 2028, 35,100 more jobs are available for medical and clinical laboratory technicians. Whenever you choose any kind of jobs, you should always analyze that whether this job can be retained for almost 10 years or 20 years. Like that only we usually takes any kind of job. So definitely this is going to be a wonderful uh, job that you can opt for. The next one, biomedical scientists and medical scientists. Of course, when not only biomedical scientists or medical scientists, if you're becoming a scientist in any of the field, definitely this is going to be growing in the next 10 years or 20 years, we can say. So who is this biomedical scientist or a medical scientist or even we can say scientist, research scientist? They are the one who conduct research on medical projects. Yes. And if we have to talk about how good it is going to be demanding in the next 10 years, so we can say it is very, very faster than the average eight percentage growth is going to take place. So if you become a scientist in biomedical research or whether it is in a medical research or whether it is in a normal, any sort of researches, then definitely it's going to be a greater source for you. And it's also believed that by 2028, 10,600 more jobs are going to be available. You can see. So here it is 35,000. Here it is 10,000. So this is also a great demanding in the next 10 years. Of course, I'm going to talk about bioinformaticians and computational biologists. So as I already mentioned, programming languages are taking up the market. Data science is taking up the market. Artificial intelligence, big data analysis, all these things are taking up the market. So definitely, this is also going to be a wonderful demanding field in the coming years. So who is this people? They are the one who perform programming languages in a medical projects and the demand is going to be 7%. You can see literally 7% uh, when we talk in case of a biotechnologist, bioinformatician and a molecular biologist, almost 7 to 8% we can say in the entire world. So biotechnologists, bioinformatists as well as molecular biologists are also going to be 8%. And it is believed that here also you can see almost 30,000 plus uh, jobs are going to be demanding in the upcoming 10 years. Of course, as I already mentioned, biotechnology, people believe that many are not getting an opportunity or a job in biotechnology. But I'm going to tell you, if you go on the right track, definitely you will get a job. So biotechnicians or biological technicians are definitely going to get jobs because it is also going to be demanding. We know who are them. They are the one who helps the scientists, biological scientists or medical scientists to conduct laboratory experiments and la any sort of test in the laboratory. And the demand is going to be 7%, which is considered faster than the average. And you can see by 2028, 
5,700 more jobs are going to be in demand. So definitely, this is also a greater demanding life science job in the upcoming 10 years. Of course, biochemists, you are no an ex exception to this case. So biochemists and biophysicians, yes. So biochemist also has a greater demand. We already know who are this biochemist who actually studies about the chemical uh, principles, analysis of a living sample or living tissues. Physical principles will be studied also. They are biophysicists. So it is believed six percentage demand globally uh, in the next upcoming 10 years. So as fast as the average also. And you can see almost 1900 more jobs are going to be for biochemist and biophysist. Okay, now let's move on to the sixth top life science job, which is going to be a greater demand in the 10 years. Yes, of course, microbiologists, if you're watching out this video, definitely it is also going to be a demanding field. We already know about microbiologists who studies about the microorganism. Demand is 5%, which is also a fast as average because microbiologists, lab technicians, all these jobs are always been there because hospital is definitely needed. And it's believed that 1,100 more jobs, you can find it in 2028. Projected employment change can happen. So more jobs are going to come for microbiologists also. The seventh one, of course, zoologist, wildlife biologist. It is also a great demanding one. Of course, we know about zoologists who studies about the animals as well as the other wildlife and their interactions with the environment. 5% increase is going to take place and the job range by 2028 is going to be 900 more jobs are going to be there. Suppose if you start your career as zoologist and wildlife biologist, then definitely it's going to work out for you. Next is going to be genetic counselors. This is more predominantly seen in the entire globe when we compare it with India. Who are these people? They are the one who will assess the individual risk of particular diseases or family risk of uh, any sort of inherited diseases or some birth defects before. So they are going to be genetic counselors. So here it is believed you can see massive demand, 27% much faster than the average. So it's a great demanding one, genetic counselors, but genetic counselors are very limited in case of India when you compare it with global scenario. And by 2028, 800 more jobs you can expect uh, for this genetic counselor. So this is a wonderful feat. The next one, of course, biomedical engineers, then this is also for you. Biomedical engineering, it's also go going to be a wonderful field where you combine uh, engineering principle along with medical sciences. And the demand is 4% and it's believed that 700 more jobs you can find it by 2028. So this is a wonderful career opportunity. The next one, epidemiologist, yes. So who is this epidemiologist? They are the one who is going to investigate what are the patterns of diseases? How this uh, disease has been caused? And what are the injuries that's been caused in the human beings? And how can we reduce the risk of all these uh, problems? That's going to be the epidemiologist. And this is more famous, like 5%. And you can find a lot of epidemiologists globally maximum. And it's very limited in case of India. And by 2028, 400 more jobs are going to be there for epidemiologists. So if I have to summarize, what are the top 10 lists? then definitely it's going to be laboratory technicians, biomedical scientists or any scientist field. Of course, bioinformaticians, computational biology, biotechnical um, technicians, or we can say uh, biotechnologists, biochemists and biophysicists, and of course, microbiologists, zoologists, wildlife biologists, genetic counselors and biomedical engineers, and of course, epidemiologists. These are top 10 life science jobs globally which is going to be a greater demand in the upcoming 10 years but we may expect there might be a fluctuation in these things also and there are many more opportunity which are available but this is believed that it can be greater demand in the upcoming days so what do you think about this do you think any other field can be a demanding field in the next 10 years put it in the comment section thank you all of you for joining